How to get a mortgage for a property that you're planning on Airbnb. My name's Joe Stallard, I'm a director at House and Holiday Home Mortgages, and today we're going to answer that question looking at what an Airbnb mortgage actually is. So, to start with, this particular way I'm going to answer this question is looking at properties where we're planning to Airbnb the whole property. If we're looking to do a room or an annex or something like that, we'll have some, some separate answers on that. It's a bit more complicated. But where we're looking to Airbnb the whole of a property, we're effectively looking for a holiday let mortgage. It's about short term stays, be it in a holiday let traditional location like a Cornwall or um, a Devon or a Lake District, um, or you know maybe it's the city, um, a city break that you're going with for work and staying over a couple of nights and, and that sort of thing. So when we talk about Airbnb, we're talking about short term letting, we're probably looking at a holiday let mortgage. That's very different to a buy to let. A buy to let is um, its own type of, of mortgage. It's a consistent tenant for a long term period, six, 12 months at a time, that sort of thing. So that is that is a completely separate product. Um, so we're looking at when we're talking about Airbnb, is can we get a holiday let mortgage on that property? So the first thing you want to check really in that regard is how much can I borrow? Um, and that's completely down to the rental potential of that property. It's about finding a local holiday letting agent or Airbnb letting agent and getting from them a, a set of figures that are going to give you an estimation as to what the property is going to generate in terms of a revenue. They'll break it down into different rates in different sort of rental seasons and then it's going to be those numbers that determine what you can borrow. If you've done your own residential mortgage in the past you'll know that that's, that falls down to your income and your credit commitments normally. In here they're still important, they're still going to form part of the mortgage application and what the lender wants to know and understand about you but the rental borrowing in most cases is going to be determined by the rental potential of that property. Deposit wise, you're going to be wanting to start from a 20% level. Um, so you need to bear that in mind when you're looking at how much you've got together and, and what you can afford. Um, but I always encourage people to really think of it as starting from 25%. That's going to open up many, many more doors to you. And then beyond that, the more you put in, the more products are going to open up and the more the rates going to come down for you accordingly. Interest only or repayment options, you know, whether you're paying off the balance of the mortgage or just servicing the interest only element of that every month um, comes down to your investment strategy. Most lenders are fine with either way of doing it. So understanding what's important to you from the outset will get you on the right track. Um, and then I think crucially think of the location. Um, location is very, very important when it comes to, to Airbnb properties. There's got to be a strong demand for that property rental. Again, whether it's that holiday, t that traditional holiday lo location, um, you know, that's great. Uh, or if it's in a city location, again, lenders are really going to be looking at, is there going to be demand for somebody to go and stay in that property? So that's really important to, to look at. Now, of course I would, but I would always recommend that you speak to a specialist in the holiday let area. It is a quirky, niche little area of lending. Um, so working with a specialist can really help you know, head off any of those potential um, problems that can crop up throughout your application. But find a broker uh, you can work with, um, in, you know, who knows the market well. You can do this stuff yourself, of course you can, um, but look into the benefits of using a good mortgage broker. And then finally, you know, enjoy when you get that property. Um, the, the great thing about Airbnb mortgages and, and holiday let mortgages <coughs> is that you can use the property a bit yourself. So. Um, you know, not only hopefully is it a great investment for you, but hopefully you get some good use out of it too. I hope that's helped answer some questions about Airbnb mortgages. If you have anything specifically you want to know, do feel free to get in touch and ask us any questions.